guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be working on a bike that has an ugly history, but uh, it's only in for a, a minor repair, thankfully. So this particular issue uh, is relating to the gear selection mechanism inside the engine, so we will be getting mechanical today. Let's get her up on the bench, raise it to the heavens, and see what the actual issue is. So when you shift into a gear, the lever is supposed to return back to its neutral position ready for the next selection. But as you can see, shifting up not so much of a problem, but when you shift on down on this one, it just likes to stay there. So there's a broken detent spring inside the transmission. Um, and it's quite a common failure, not so much, uh, not just only for Ducatis, but it seems to be a bit more common on, du on the Ducatis. Uh, look, all bikes suffer from it, but um, they're not all uh, a quick fix. So, let's start ripping her apart, get her all undressed. Front comes off, nose comes off just we'll have a look at this left hand side see what's going on over there. So when you take that drain plug out it relieves itself of its coolant so the water pump actually lives on the alternator cover here uh, but we don't need to remove it. it it stays with the alternator cover when you remove the left hand engine side so all the pipes come off hoses four items here clutch slave cylinder front sprocket cover, the actual gear shift lever itself, and that little inspection cover. Sometimes they're a bit stubborn because they're countersunk screws, but they're usually alright. Once you get that little cap off, we install a, a special Ducati tool that after you get all the perimeter bolts out, you can just go hectic with these, they just seal the cover to the engine. So we bolt this little mechanism onto the alternator cover itself wind it in and it pulls the cover out evenly, it's a little pop and it releases some of the engine oil that was sitting up at that level and you give it a wiggle and a jiggle and it just comes free, revealing the clockwork internals. Now look what we find here, <coughs> that is half of the broken spring. I'll explain later. So we get the alternator rotor off. whole thing comes off in one piece with the starter clutch and its little bearing there. Remove these two little bolts and it pulls out the whole gear selection mechanism which is also referred to as a detent. So you can see that spring hanging out there. That's the other half of the broken one. So it'll be, it'll be a bit clearer once we get it out on the bench and we put it back in and it's working properly. I can show you how it activates. But this secondary plate is only held on with a little circlet. And that is where the spring lives. Luckily I was able to diagnose this before we started working on it. So I happened to be able to order a new spring for it, so we can just whack it in, no need to wait. So that's how it lives, a little bit of um, pressure to get the thing in place, plate goes back on, clip holds it there, and we need to check that secondary spring up the top there, should give us a nice return action for that hook. But when the spring is in place, you should get a back and forth motion, like there, he's making with his thumb. 
which translates to the up and down motion of the actual gear lever. So you'll see when we get it back in that it, it's quite a an interesting mechanism. Just works on mechanical advantage and spring tension. There's not much tuning involved here. Uh, once you get the thing in, all you really need to do after you stabilize it with one of those two bolts is make sure you line up a tiny mark with uh, the center of one of those pins on the selected drum so that the hook's motion is in the middle of those pins so backwards and forwards is the same distance and then you can lock it into place. So let's stick the gear lever on and just show you how this thing works. So the arm pulls those pins on the selector drum and rotates it and returns the lever back to its ready position for the next gear selection. spring so it's a little bit stiffer. You can see it spring back up when I push down. Very good. It's a little bit easier when the cover is on because the shaft is mounted through the alternated cover so it's a lot more stable. Let's wrap it up. That was the problem. So now it's pretty much just a reverse order. Put a lock tight on that nut because they tend to come loose and the alternator falls off. Makes a hell of a noise and destroys everything. It's supposed to be retention every 10,000 kilometers and applied with lock tight, so can't be too tight on those things. A uh, little bit of liquid gasket around the perimeter of that engine cup. Make sure it goes on snug. And you can just go hectic with the perimeter bolts again. Careful with this clutch slave cylinder, because it goes on crooked, you're in big trouble, so you just Screw it down nice and evenly. And the cap back can go back on. And the selector as well. Make sure you're in the right position so it's not too high, not too low. Beautiful, like new. That's, that was a really nice action for a, a detail mechanism. Hoses go back on, clamp them up. Grab some coolants. Fill her up. It takes ages. So it's a very bad system. Uh, lots of air bubbles. It takes ages. Don't forget the reservoir. Top up the oil that came out. Got to excuse the lighting on the next shot. We left the fairings on just to save a bit of time, but we could have taken it off. <laughs> so you can see the oil getting filled up. Slowly, slowly. A little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Wrap it up. And dispose of that oil responsibly. There's our Bundy out the back guy comes to collect it when it's full and takes it to the recycle. So, whenever we like to work on bikes, the road test is really the most important part of the service. So, this bike in particular, because it's so dressed, I'm just going to bolt on the mirrors and blinkers so we can take it for a safe road test. In case there are any issues that we find during that inspection, we can just come back and not have to unbolt everything. Because although it is sped up, this thing takes ages <laughs> to work on. It's just, I mean, once you get all the bodywork off, it's really good, but uh, it's, it, it, it's quite complicated. All right, let's give it a, a test on the bench here. Make sure 
sure the gears work properly. Find a happy idling speed and we can start to count and see if it returns every time. First, second, third, fourth, going up the gearbox, fifth, and there's top, back down to five, four, third gear. Second should be, and one more should be the bottom. Yep, so if you pull it back half, half a lever, there's neutral. So each time we're selecting a gear, we're releasing the clutch to make sure it engages properly, and um, making sure we've got all of the gears and all of the selections are positive. No ghost gears, the lever is returning, it's all nice and crisp. So there's bottom, let me get it back to neutral. Yeah, so I'm pretty satisfied with this repair. Uh, I believe the bike will, you can hear it rattling its guts out. So this bike will be back uh, sometime soon for a new clutch. That's why it's so noisy at the moment. Uh, I might do another video on that one, so maybe you can stay tuned for part two, but take it out ready for a road test. Go get your helmet. Check the clutch. You can hear how angry it is. Do a quick safety check. While it's warming up, Adrian's getting his gear. Horn works, brakes work. You never know, because we haven't ridden this bike yet, we've just done a repair. So it's always good to do a quick inspection before you take it for a road test. The engine sounds actually good. It has been rebuilt before, but that's another story. Alright, so I'll let it fast idle a little, warm up some more while Adrian's faffing about. Helmet, spectacles, hand coverage, and away we go. Yeah, really good touring bike this one. Really comfortable. It's a real mile muncher. Just wants to keep going once you get on the road. It's not great for traffic, but it can certainly do it. Uh, it just tends to wear out the clutches a bit quicker, but yeah. Once you get out on the open road, it just eats up kilometres. Good, good bike. Quite high maintenance, but generally an all-round good bike. Okay, so before we wrap it up, I uh, just got to make sure we're all clean, no leaks, and wipe down all of the mess that we made. Make sure it's nice and happy. I don't believe there were any issues with the road test, so it was we didn't really need to do what we did, but you never know, so it's just easier to go for a road test first and then dress it back up in case you need to do some adjustments or you know, redo what you've done, basically. We don't have to go through all this. So the front fairing is actually a one-man job, but it goes on a lot easier if you've got someone there to, to be a second pair of hands, nice and snug. Mirrors. And that should be it. So this is Adrian's favourite part. Get her out and give her a bath. Make it nice and shiny again. So unfortunately this bike has had a long history. 
it's an ugly history. As I said, it's been rebuilt once. I don't want to mention it in case I bring back too many bad memories for the owner, but let's see what else we've got here. It's another shark tooth beamer. Get plenty of them. S1000, there's a ZX10 here. It's just been sitting here for months waiting for it to get picked up. Just came in for a new tyre. There's a fluffy green ZX14. We will be doing a video on that one because he's coming in for a few mods. Tyre is still there. There's a beautiful Panigale Ducati. Just in for some minor repairs. This R1, I believe, is getting a new shock. It's a bit of a pogo stick at the moment. There's an Aprilia RSV that hasn't been ridden for five years, so we will be doing a restoration video on that one. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. You know, sometimes it's nice to do a video on the mechanical repairs that we do, as opposed to the big custom builds and restorations and projects. See all the dirt coming off the wheel there. So yeah, it's a good day's work here. We like these bikes. It helps when we've had experience with them so we can diagnose them and have the parts ready to go. Just makes for a quicker job. Less bikes sitting around, half undone, just waiting for parts. And wipe it down, make it nice and pretty. As it deserves to be. Great little bike. So thanks for watching guys, that's us for now. Stay tuned, there'll be more to come very shortly. Cheers.